Do you want to know how to create sexual attraction with women just by flirting? This is something that most men crave, but very few can achieve. To create that sexual attraction and chemistry with women, you need to have some proven tactics that can drive them wild. Among them, I will reveal six top tactics that you can use with any woman and get her obsessed with you. Before we dive in, subscribe to join your own club so you don't miss out on future uploads. Number 1. Playful Accusation To master the art of flirting, you must have the wit to tease a woman in a playful way. But how do you attract her by just accusing her? This is very tricky. The playful accusation is all about reversing the game of flirting. It's about maintaining that line of balance and not letting her take your witty remarks seriously. Let's say you both are having dinner at a restaurant, and she does something clumsy. You can playfully say, that is the reason we can't have nice things. Or you can say, oh you are such bad news. You can also playfully accuse her over something she does a little unusual. But listen, when passing this remark, you must maintain a light and conversational tone. It is all about creating a dynamic between you and her. You look at her, you see something notable in her, and then you assign a certain quality to that. Understand this. She must know that you are being playful and not serious about what you say to her. By passing such remarks, you take her by surprise and hook her with your words. And she will also reciprocate that with a smile or even flirt back to maintain that chemistry. Number 2. Make a bet. Giving her a bet is another powerful flirting tactic that can spice up things and can add some fun to your night out with her. Listen, if deployed properly, she will get highly attracted to you. It is because women love challenges and even more to win them. Now I want you to listen carefully. Before jumping into the betting game, you must mentally prepare her first by creating that vibe where you start talking slightly off the topic. And when she is in the zone, make the move. You can bet over something daring. Let's say you challenge her and whoever wins will plan the next date. Now it doesn't matter if you win or lose because you have put her in a position where she has to accept or choose. If you win, choose a place that has romantic vibes and she will understand your motive. And if she wins, imply to her that you love a certain place to be in. What you're doing is preparing her mentally but in a flirty way, and she will not only appreciate it, but also respond to your action by participating in the process. Number 3. The Gender Stereotype This might surprise you, but trust me, this one is more powerful and fun than the other two tactics I explained above. In the last few years, I've noticed that modern men often use this tactic to flirt with their dating partners. Giving women the opposite role in a playful way adds great excitement to your relationship with her. Knowing your flirtatious intentions, women will also reciprocate in the same manner to balance that attraction. It can be any situation, but the right amount of flirt in your lines will hook her into the conversation. Let's say you both are going on a long drive, and your car suddenly stops functioning. Instead of being the, I can handle it guy, inject a little humor into the conversation by encouraging her to check the car. You can say something like, I know my tough guy can fix it. Even though she knows she can't fix it, she will understand your humor and try to move things or two in the car. You can even take this flirt to the next level by giving her the upper hand in romance. I know this sounds a little cheesy, and I don't want you to act like a clown, but sometimes using this tactic can be a great turn-on for many women. Number 4. The Flirty High Five It is a common fact that skin touch is the stronger trigger you can give to any woman. It is because the way we feel the skin of an opposite gender provokes emotions and feelings. By giving her a high five, you find a suitable way to transfer that energy into her body but a flirty high-five even works more effectively. Let's say you both are playing the bowl game, and suddenly she hits all the pins. Now to celebrate this, simply give her a high-five, but not a common one. As her palm meets yours, curl your fingers and hold it for a while. She will do the same as it comes naturally. And when she does, do not let go of her hand. Hold it to the point where she feels that your high-five delivers emotions. You will see the expressions on her face will change, 
and just when she begins to tighten her grip, release your fingers. Do not linger at that moment any longer or you will give her awkward feelings. A flirt should be momentarily effective in delivering your flirty intentions. Number 5. Reverse the game. Reversing the flirting game turns on women more than anything else, but you need the right time to deploy this tactic into your conversation. When you reverse the game, you make her feel like she is trying to get under your pants. She will definitely know that you are flirting with her at that moment, but she will greatly enjoy that, knowing that you are a witty man who knows how to manipulate her in a positive way. You can use lines like, Oh, the way you are looking at me, I can see you're already in love with me. Or you can say something like, I think I forgot to leave my magnetic aura at home. Now I can see you getting attracted to that. This might sound ridiculous, but subconsciously, she will be drawn to that flirt and humor you are pouring into the conversation. Listen, when it comes to sentiments and emotions, women see emotions more than logic. And the more you are genuine and authentic in delivering them, the more they will be attracted to that. Number six, unleash your desires. When it comes to the art of creating sexual attraction, it's not merely about surface level tactics or fleeting moments. It delves much deeper into the realms of your most profound desires. To master the intricate dance of sexual attraction, you must first understand that desire is a multifaceted force, one that flows in both directions. It's not just about what you want, it's equally about making her feel desired as well. Passion and chemistry thrive on this mutual exchange of longing and craving. To truly ignite the flames of sexual attraction, you must be willing to express your desires openly, but tastefully. It's through this expression that you'll stoke the fires of desire within her. Your eyes, your touch, and the words you choose all become instruments in this seductive symphony, orchestrating a crescendo of desire that engulfs you both. Remember, it's essential to make her feel like the most desirable person in the room, if not the world. In turn, when you both share these intense desires openly, the sexual attraction becomes an irresistible and incandescent force that neither of you can ignore. This dance of desire is a passionate give and take, a magnetic pull that transcends words and captures the essence of what it means to be irresistibly attracted to someone. So, embrace your desires and let them flow, for it's in their embrace that you'll truly unlock the magnetic power of sexual attraction. By the way, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you have not joined the club, what are you waiting for? Now you need to watch the recommended video you see on the screen. It will show you six traits that make women go crazy for you. Make sure to watch it now.